Let's take a look at the CAM of page 119 in the JPEGD workbook. And here we have a uniform motion, a simple harmonic, and a uniform acceleration and retardation example all in one. Provided to you on your question will be the displacement graph. And you need to do the construction of the CAM disk profile. And this particular uh, example has a roller ended follower. Here we see the roller ended follower on the outer edge of the CAM disk profile. It's a clockwise rotation, therefore our construction will be in the anti-clockwise direction. So clearly it's visible to see how the roller end is running on the outer edge of the CAM disk profile. Let's take a quick look at the question. Given to us is the displacement graph showing a combination of the uniform motion, which we know is a straight line on our graph, then a simple harmonic motion, which we know needs a construction of the half circle, and then a uniform acceleration and retardation, which also requires us to do a construction where we will divide the line into equal segments. Then it says the details of the camshaft has been provided along with the roller ended follower in its lowest position, meaning it's now resting at the minimum displacement. The vertical center line of the cam profile, so already printed for us on our answer sheet, is the vertical center line that runs through the center of the cam profile, and then that center is indicated by a reference point. Now let's look at the specifications. The minimum distance from the cam profile to the center of the cam shaft is 22 millimeters. We'll take a closer look at that now in our drawing. Then the cam shaft has a diameter of 3 millimeters and there's a rotation that will be in a clockwise direction. What are our instructions? We need to draw to a scale of 1 to 1 and in the correct position the given follower so that it will reciprocate along the vertical center line of the camshaft meaning linear motion project and draw the cam profile from the given displacement graph so printed for us on the answer sheet is also the given displacement graph which has got all three different movements, the uh, uniform motion, the simple harmonic, and the uniform acceleration and retardation in that one graph. And then we need to show the center line and the direction of rotation on our cam profile. And we also need to show all of our constructions. We must show all the constructions. They must be visible. They must be clearly labeled. And we need to make sure that it is labeled in the correct place. So this is what we see on our answer sheet. And on the answer sheet, we are going to use the information now provided to us in this displacement graph. We can see a few things that are important. At the first section, we see the uniform motion with a straight line on our graph. And then we see there's a resting period between 90 degrees and 120 degrees. And then from 120 degrees all the way to 210 degrees, we see that there is a simple harmonic movement of the follower. And that's why we use the half circle construction. We see that from 120 to 210, there are six intervals of 30 degrees each. And that means our half circle also has to be divided into six equal segments. So now that we know where the uniform motion ends at 120 and where the simple harmonic starts at 120, that is the position where we will then add our half circle construction to do that layout for the reference points for our simple harmonic motion. From 210 degrees to 360 degrees, we have uniform acceleration and retardation. In 210, 240, 270, and 300 degrees, we have three intervals of 30 degrees each. That is on the x-axis. On the y-axis, up to 300 degrees, we also need to divide the height from the top 
downwards into three equal segments. But once it's reached 300 degrees, we are going to now divide displacement graph into four equal segments on the x-axis as well as on the y-axis. Why? Because we see that there is a 315 degree and a 345 degree interval which falls in between the 30 degree segments that we normally use. Please make sure that the, from the 300 degrees interval where the follower is going to have now increments of 15 degrees to 360 degrees, there are four X segments, meaning there are four different intervals of 15 degrees each on the X axis and on the Y axis from that position at 300 degrees we must have the equal amount of segments. In this case, on the y-axis, we will then have four different heights from that position where it reached 300 degrees. And therefore, we will now have four intervals on the y-axis for the height increment and then four different intervals of 15 degrees each on the x-interval. We notice that our followers measurements has been provided on the far right of the screen. We also see that the roller follower has a diameter of 16 millimeters. That means a radius of 8 millimeters. We have to copy that follower exactly as it is with the information and dimensions given onto our cam disk profiles construction. Once we have drawn in the camshaft and hatched it at an angle of 45 degrees and put in the clockwise directions arrow. We will do the construction of the cam disk profile by drawing in the 30 and 60 degree intervals all around our cam shaft and we will indicate the labels of each of these 30 degree intervals in the opposite direction than the turn of the cam shaft. Once we have done all the 30 degree interval constructions we will do the maximum displacements construction with our compass. We will place our compass at the center of the camshaft, stretch it to the maximum displacement and draw a full construction circle all the way around. Once that is done, we are going to take the different heights that we get from our uniform motion on the displacement graph, project that heights to the vertical center line of our cam disc profiles construction and then we will take those heights individually at 30 degrees, then 60 and 90 degrees as indicated here, each at its own uh, height. Once that is done, we have a dwelling period, a resting period of 30 degrees between 90 and 120 degrees. So that means we will place our compass now at the center and we will then just draw an arc that continues all the way from 90 to 120 degrees and we will make sure to place those reference dots at each one of these 30 degree intervals and then we will continue on to the simple harmonic motion from our graph of displacement we will project all the heights that is from our simple harmonic motion onto the vertical center line and from the vertical center line individually we're going to project all the heights first to 120 degrees then to 135 degrees because we have the 15 degree intervals in between then 150 then 165 180 and then 195 and lastly 210 degrees which will complete the motion of the simple harmonic on our cam disk profiles construction and lastly take our compass from those heights that we projected from our uniform acceleration retardation to the vertical center line and individually just project them from 210 to 240 270 300 once we've done that we're going to do from 300 to 360 degrees and we have those 15 degree intervals so we're going to take each of those heights to 300, 315, 330, 345 and then to 360 degrees each of them and indicate those heights and once we have all those reference points carried over we're going to use our French curve we will draw in the outline of the cam disk profile at the bottom inside edge of our roller. 
Once all of that is done, we're going to do a final check. Just make sure that everything is labeled that needs to be labeled, that all our degrees are written in where it's supposed to, that all our constructions are shown, that our direction is shown, that the camshaft is hatched. We will make sure that our roller is drawn in at the reference point at each of the 30 and 15 degree intervals throughout the full 360 degrees. And that will conclude our drawing.